flowers for your lady? Oh. Take this away. Wait, honey, these are my favorite. I said no. Thank you. But what? Hmm? Why would I waste money on this shit? Hmm? Just remind me, when we've had sex last time? One month, two months ago? Hmm? You know what? I'll buy them myself. Sorry, can you please come back? I'll take the flowers. Are you humiliating me on purpose? I just want some flowers for myself. Don't worry, I'll pay for them. No, I can pay for that. Okay? Give her those damn flowers. How many do you want? Just one. I want them all. Fine. Give them all. That's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Waiters, can you come over? Yes, sir. Do you like these beautiful flowers? Yes. These are for you. For me? You can go. And this one's for you. Are you happy? Bon appetit. So that's how it is, yeah? All right. Hey, stop! Where, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Mr. Miller? <laughs> Bill? What's happening here? Uh, I'm sorry, she's just uh, jogging. Interesting joke. <laughs> Do you know each other? Of course we know each other. He's my boss. Didn't you recognize him? Mr. Miller, meet my wife, Mary. Nice to meet you, Mary. That was embarrassing. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, these things happen sometimes. Uh, are you having dinner here? Yes, we are. Maybe I can join you? Of course. Mr. Miller? Thank you, Bill. Just give us a second. Please forgive me. What? Please don't do anything like that in front of Mr. Miller again. But it could cost me my job. You provoked me. Like you did with the flowers. But I forgive you because I love you. So please, forgive me too. This is actually a gift from my husband. Yeah. Hmm. Just one flower? For such a beautiful woman. Bill. <laughs> Mr. Miller, what are you saying? You just ruined my surprise. Surprise? Surprise? Wow, I love surprises. Yes, surprise. Darling, you act like it never surprised you. Yes, surprise. Just give me a moment. Here they are. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't be here. They are mine. Uh, sir! <laughs> They're right. Ta da! Surprise! Darling, these are for you, your favorites. You're lucky to have such a husband, Mary. Yes. Very lucky. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Mm. Ah, such a wonderful evening, guys. <laughs> By the way, Mel, since we have this opportunity, I'd like to discuss something work-related with you. Yes, of course. There's an opening for vice president in the company. And between you and me, you're the top candidate. Are you serious? Mm. <laughs> I'm very glad to have met both of you here. Because a lot of responsibility comes with this position. I need to get to know you better, Bill. And who else? 
but your pretty wife know everything about you. So, Mary, what's your husband like? Um... But tell me only the truth. The future of the company depends on you. Well, uh, he's, uh, he's very nice. And uh, he's an uh, exemplary family man. And, um, well, he never yells. And uh, he always admits when he, he was wrong. That's exactly what I expected to hear. You clearly love your wife very much, Bill. Yes, sir. More than anything in the world. And that is the problem. A vice president can't have a beloved partner. What do you mean? You should dedicate all your time to your work. So tell me, are you willing to divorce Mary for the sake of your job? <laughs> are you joking? <laughs> what are you telling? I understand it's a very difficult decision, so I'll give you a couple of minutes to discuss it, okay? That. Have you heard it? And why didn't you refuse right away? The answer is obvious, Bill, right? Bill? Bill. We'll get a divorce, but I'll get the job. And we'll see each other, just like now, only without dreams. Listen, if you agree to this now, it's over between us, I promise you. Mary. Hey, guys. Have you discussed it? Yes, I've made up my mind. We'll get it divorce. For the job, I'm willing to do anything, like a true vice president. Right, sir? like a vice president. But before you become one, I need to ask you something again. Mary, tell me again about your husband. What is he like? You want to know the truth? You want to hear it? I'll tell you. He is selfish, narcissistic, arrogant, stingy. What are you talking about? Don't listen to her, Mr. Miller. You know what? It's not you leaving me, I'm leaving you. And I'm absolutely capable of buying myself these damn flowers. Way to go. Finally damn him. I saw your argument from outside. And I couldn't understand. What are we waiting for? Thank you, sir. Would you like to come to our office tomorrow? I'm planning to fire one arrogant employee. And I have a job proposition for you. Oh, I'd love to. <coughs> Good luck, Bill. Sir, darling, I was wrong. Please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs>